It's been a great start to the ski season for a lot of people hitting the slopes on opening day. There's been a little bit of snow on some of our ski resorts today, in fact. But one ski area is not going to open this year. For the first time ever, managers of Sandia Peak Ski Area proactively decided not to run their chairlifts. Ryan Laughlin has the common problem that caused this closure this year, but also he's asking, what does this mean for the future of skiing on Sandia? Those enjoying the slopes of Ski Santa Fe on Thanksgiving probably wouldn't have noticed, but there was considerable anxiety before opening day. Going into it, uh, staffing was a challenge. Ben Abruzzo manages Ski Santa Fe and is the one who made the difficult call to not open Sandia Peak Ski Area this year. We put more effort into um, recruiting than we ever have. They hired a recruiter, put on and attended job fairs, increased base pay, and gave raises to returning employees. All of that has led to decent staffing. Uh, some of our departments are actually fully staffed. We're still struggling in the lift department. He says concerns about staffing was the main force driving the decision to not open Sandia Ski Area. But it was the right time to, to take a break, focus on Santa Fe with the staff we had. Weather has not been kind to the Sandia skiers. Today, there was a dusting of snow at the peak, but not enough to enjoy the slopes. And that's been the story the last few years. Little snow has led to fewer open days. And with no water source to make their own snow, we asked, What's the long-term future look like, or what do you guys want to see there? I'll let you know in about four months. The focus now for Abruzzo is Ski Santa Fe. Stay tuned for what's next for our Watermelon Mountain. Ryan Laughlin, KOB4.